Hi guys and welcome to Kami Ideas. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome to the family of ideas. In today's video, I just want to address some questions, okay, I keep receiving. It's like, I keep receiving these questions almost all the time on different, different videos. I answer it and people are still asking me, okay, and I just want to use this time to address these questions today. The first question I want to address is, I've been receiving a lot of questions from people asking me about the NAC program. That's the two years nursing training college program that they had. It has been cancelled and they want to find out whether it's true or not. And I, sometimes I don't answer. Like sometimes I just say, I just, I don't go straight to the point. And today I just want to address these questions today once and for all. Okay, my guys. The fact is that, um, I myself, my, myself, I've seen other YouTubers doing videos about the NAC program that has been cancelled and all that. But they see me, I'm not someone who is moved by pressure. I'm not moved by what, whatever video anyone is doing for views or whatsoever. The fact is that I'm led by the Holy Spirit most of the time. There are some things that I have so many video ideas that I feel like I should do them. But God tells me that this is not the right time for you to talk about these things because the youtube thing you are doing if you don't take time you will say something and then you get like a, an issue that will be difficult to deal with so i'm very careful about whatever i share on this channel in as much as i'm trying to educate somebody i'm trying to inform somebody and i'm trying to i'm like people who subscribe to the channel and all that i'm not i'm very very careful with what i come to put out here before I come out to say anything and do a video on nursing and whatsoever, I actually do my research so much into it. I consult a lot of people. I before I make any video idea, like something that I don't, I'm not very uh, conversant with or something that I don't really have much idea about. I act, I do my research before I come up here to make a video. So with the issue of the NAP program being cancelled, the fact is that. Um, Ministry of Health, in before any program can be cancelled or any whatever can be introduced, they first of all, like they announce it, Ministry of Health will come out with the information before it will be disseminated to the schools and any other person. Okay. And I personally, maybe I haven't searched on their website or maybe it's been um, declared or something like that and I haven't heard. I have not seen any documents on Ministry of Health website indicating that the NAC program or the two years nursing training course has been cancelled. Okay, maybe it's something that is going low key. And so far as I have not seen any official document and I have not seen any information on social media or any platform in, in, indicating that this program has been cancelled, I don't have any right or authority to come and sit here and make a video and tell people that this program has been cancelled and when I'm called to court, I'm not able to defend myself and maybe far from, far from us, okay? So the fact is that I personally know people who have um, reported to school to do the NAC program this year. So maybe some schools might have decided not to offer the program maybe due to maybe the challenges they are having maybe in terms of teachers or they are trying to expand to other programs and feel that maybe they cannot accommodate uh, too many students or something like that that one i can't say much about it okay so for now those who are asking me whether the program has been cancelled i have not seen any document indicating that the program has been cancelled so please i don't want to say something to please you and get an issue so i'm not aware it has been cancelled as of now so if it's cancelled and i see an official document on ministry of health website i will get, i will gladly come and inform you but for the time being i don't have any idea about whether it has been cancelled or not what i know is that i know people who have reported to school this year to do the NAC program and if maybe certain schools have decided not to offer their program this year, I can't based on that to come and say that has been cancelled. Please, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me, oh, please. Don't let us get into issues that we can't deal with. The answer is yes, a nurse can become a doctor. But 
you have to know that to everything there are requirements okay in law in nursing field there are requirements and you can't just do things of your own or on your own okay and if you if you are a nurse maybe you've gone to the nursing training college to do the three years nursing program you are down with your one year national service and you come and you feel like you have the money to go to continue to go to your school to go and do your degree and then proceed to do your medicine so be it you know if you have money you can do it all right so you can't just um finish nursing school three years and you are going to the medical school no before you can enroll in the medical school you have to have a first degree that's a perfect degree before you can apply to do the medicine all right so everything is possible and this can become a doctor if you are determined and you want to do it you can do it and it is so easy okay by the grace of god so a nurse can become a doctor if you've been applying to medical school and they are denying you and all that don't mind them just apply to a nursing school complete get your degree continue to do your medicine and you become a doctor yeah so it's very very possible the third question i keep receiving It's like ever since I started my YouTube channel, I keep receiving this question all the time, all the time, up to now. I'm still receiving it all the time. People are asking me that I should do a video on nurses salary, diploma nurse, how much does a degree nurse earn, how much does a diploma nurse earn. See, eh? all these videos are here. I have them, like I've written them down, and it's just time. I'm giving it time. I'll talk about everything, you know? And other youtubers are talking about it maybe it is their time but i've not been led by the spirit of god to talk about the salary because this is not the time and when the time comes i will explain everything to you and you understand if you want to really go into this profession be passionate about it nursing is is beyond money if you become a nurse it is beyond money if you are not passionate about it and you you will give up and there are people who enter nursing school alone and just quit and be like, I can't be, I'm, I'm not called. Some are like, my mind was a missed call. I'm not called. I can't do this nursing thing again. See, and there are so many opportunities. Apart from working as a nurse, there are so many opportunities you stand to benefit. So I don't want you to be moved by just the money that you are going to earn. That's why you are going there. And you should know that there are many, many other institutions. They pay so much more than the nursing, okay? the next question people are asking me i don't think it will be really interesting and it will be very very difficult because looking at how we run our shift sometimes you are going for morning shift afternoon shift night shift is it that you are going to plan your time in such a way that you're running only night shift and then you're going to your bank to work or how do you go about it? How do you combine the two? For that, I will say it would be very, very difficult to work as, to do nursing as a part-time job. You can do other businesses as well, but it shouldn't be like a nine-to-five job, just like nursing and another nine-to-five job. You are a human being, you need to rest. Don't work yourself to death. Okay? Like to me, I don't think I can work as a nurse and as a banker full-time banker at the same time or is it like if it's online banking or maybe i do something online fine but to work as a banker wake up in the morning go to work maybe like eight you close somewhere around four and nursing you come at 7 38 close around two that's morning shift how are we how are you going to run it so um, i wouldn't say it's not possible but to me i don't think you will have it easy yeah but you can work as a nurse and work and own different different businesses, online businesses, you can own businesses. But to have two nine to five jobs at the same time will be very, very difficult. And one last thing. Somebody was asking me that I said uh, for you to do a degree or a diploma, a diploma program, you should have a cutoff point of A to C6 and, and the university. Some are requesting that you have an aggregate of 12. You see, uh, the requirement is in any university in Ghana, you should, if you have a pass of A to C, you can gain admission to the university. The university will not say that if you don't pass, they don't accept C's or something. 
the pass man, so far as you pass from A to C, you are qualified to attend any university or tertiary institution in Ghana. That is a requirement. And when you come under that, they have aggregates, okay, like medicine. Um, some they will say that uh, maybe six oh six oh seven you can maybe offer medicine, and you might get all your passes and you might not get uh, an, an admission to a medical school. And you heard of issues about people who have had eight A's and then they've been denied admission to medical schools. And you should know that there are requirements, okay? There are requirements governing everything that happens in institutions, okay? So nursing, they will tell you your pass mark is A to C six, and you have scored just like C's throughout. And someone is going with A's, maybe six A's to go and do nursing. Who do you think they will pick? Definitely the one with A's will get the uh, the chance to be picked first. So that's my opinion on all these questions you'll be asking me on my videos. So stay blessed, and then we'll see you some other time. Bye.